What up, what up, welcome back to this channel. My name is Salvador Brigman, and on this video, I wanna get into the top crowdfunding websites out there which you can use in order to raise funds. So on this channel, we talk a lot about how to ethically impact the world for the positive. Whether that's a new product that you're bringing into the world from scratch, it could be a new business that you are starting or a new side hustle, a new venture. It could be as well, maybe an organization which you're starting as a nonprofit founder in order to and remedy some kind of a cause which you are passionate about. But by the end of today's video, you have a ton of platforms and tools in which you can use in order to impact the world, to raise funds, to get the word out there as well about your idea or about your project. And it's coming up right after this. All right, man, again, welcome back. And my name is Sal, and I got started in the crowdfunding industry back in 2012 when I was attending George Washington University. I did a logistic regression, mini econ thesis comparing different categories on Kickstarter, and as well, studying some of the other different crowdfunding uh, websites and other different styles of crowdfunding in this industry. So I'm really passionate about crowdfunding because I've seen the way that it bridges the gap. It really cuts out the middleman, allows you to go straight to the source. So what I wanna do in today's list is to go through a bunch of different platforms in sort of like a rapid fire style, but also who is this for? What are some major little tidbits of benefits and drawbacks when it comes to that platform? And really get into that in a more systematic way. Whether you're hailing in from Miami, Florida, where my home base is, or New York City, where I used to live for six years, or you're hailing in from around the world, a different area of the globe, I hope that you get a lot of value out of the video. The first one on the list is GoFundMe, and GoFundMe is a behemoth of a platform which you can really use to raise money for anything related to charitable causes. So this could be, for example, personal expenses, it could be travel expenses, it could be education costs, volunteering expenses, medical bills, right? You can raise money for personal expenses. If a tragedy has beset you or your family, you can raise money either for yourself or on behalf of someone else, and that's called a beneficiary. So the vast majority of crowdfunding campaigns on GoFundMe tend to be, again, for charitable causes, but nonprofits can also use GoFundMe as a way to raise money for their charity. It could be a church, it could be some other kind of mission or cause. You can raise money as a personal individual for a friend or a family member, or if you're raising money, for example, for a political movement, some kind of uh, something related to that, or it could be if you have a huge natural disaster and you wanna organize and you wanna help out, you can also use GoFundMe for that. The biggest pro of GoFundMe is it's extremely easy to set up and I have some great tutorials on that. I would say the biggest drawback is just you're kind of limited again to those personal and charitable causes. So it's really not the best fit if you're trying to raise money for something like a business, which I will get into next. Numero dos on the list is Kickstarter. So Kickstarter is one of the major crowdfunding websites out there which you can use to raise money for creative projects, for inventions, for theater projects, films, comic books, tabletop games. Um, it could be even a new book or a no novel that which you're coming out with. Kickstarter is great because there's so many different categories out there which you can use in order to raise money. And I'd say they're probably one of the biggest when it comes to rewards-based crowdfunding. In order to do a Kickstarter campaign, you gotta have a video, you gotta have a campaign page, and also some perks or rewards which people can gain access to when they actually support or back your Kickstarter campaign. So Kickstarter is really great if you're trying to get the word out there, trying to market and get funding for a project of some kind that falls into one of the categories categories which I mentioned, either it's more artistic in nature or it's more of like a business, uh, an invention of some kind or a new product which you've designed. The crowd there loves unique products and also ones that are very creative in nature. The biggest drawback to doing a Kickstarter campaign is that not all categories are allowed and not all stages of ideas are allowed. It's a very unique platform in terms of the feel and the types of products that do really well when it comes to the Kickstarter ecosystem. And that's why there's another one in the list that I wanna introduce you to now. Next. Number three in the list when it comes to raising money or using crowdfunding as a way to bring a new project or idea or invention into market is Indiegogo. Indiegogo was actually the first crowdfunding platform. It actually came before Kickstarter, but Kickstarter kind of has a, much, a little bit of a bigger community when it comes to Indiegogo. However, there are so many examples of successful crowdfunding campaigns on Indiegogo. I've covered them as well a lot on my podcast, the Crowdfunding Demystified Podcast. You can raise money on Indiegogo either with fixed or flexible funding, which is different from Kickstarter. With Kickstarter, it's really all or nothing funding. You gotta hit or exceed your funding goal in order to keep the money 
money which you've raised with Indiegogo, it's all or nothing funding or keep what you raise. And it's called fixed or flexible funding. So again, you can use Indiegogo to raise money for a hardware product which you've designed. It could be a comic book. It could be something more artistic in nature like a film project. There are many different types of categories on Indiegogo. And the biggest difference between Indiegogo, I'd say, and Kickstarter is that Indiegogo is much more global, much more open as a platform, and they're a little bit more business-minded in the way that they run their platform. The next one on the list is Patreon. Patreon is a form of subscription-based crowdfunding. So as you notice with some of the platforms that I'm mentioning, I'm also putting them into categories, right, when it comes to this. So Patreon is great if you are a podcaster, if you are a YouTuber, if you are a blogger, if you're a comic book creator or an artist of some way. There are many different categories available on Patreon, but the biggest differentiator is that with Patreon, you can actually have people subscribe to your Patreon campaign and support you on a residual basis. So for example, monthly or on a per creation basis. So with Kickstarter, Indiegogo, GoFundMe, you really get one lump sum, which is deposited into your bank account when you hit your goal, right? Or you get to where you're trying to go or the campaign ends, you get that money in one lump sum deposited into your bank account. With Patreon, people are, again, are supporting you on a monthly basis or a per creation basis. So you're having sort of a stream of income, which is allowing you to continue your operations as a podcaster, a blogger, a YouTuber, et cetera. The difference though is that people are supporting at much smaller tiers. So it could be like $5 a month, 10 bucks a month, $25 a month, et cetera. And you have to make sure you extend the lifetime value of that customer. So you always gotta be updating your Patreon community. Otherwise, people are gonna fall off or they're gonna unsubscribe to your campaign. The next one on the list is Kiva. So Kiva is actually not really well known by many different crowdfunders out there. All the time when I'm doing individual coaching calls, I'm introducing Kiva as another option. So I do one-on-one -on -one individual coaching calls when it comes to getting your campaign funded using the medium of crowdfunding. These are crowdfunding campaign coaching calls. And I will share more about that at the end of this video. But Kiva is an incredible platform because you can get a no interest loan, 0% interest, from Kiva for the upwards amount of $15,000 at the time I'm recording this video. Every once in a while, they'll kind of bump that up. So it's now at $15,000, you can get a no interest loan. And the way that Kiva works, is actually called a micro financing platform. So what that means is that first you have to ask your family and your friends and introduce them to this Kiva campaign, get them to support it a tiny bit to then be catapulted into the overall Kiva marketplace. And then you have people all over the world that are supporting Kiva campaigns and slowly their actual campaigns that they support begin to get paid back when it comes to the loan which they've given. They take that money, they leave it in Kiva in the same way that I do, and they loan it to other entrepreneurs who are trying to get started in developing countries, in the United States, minority entrepreneurs, et cetera. So Kiva is a great option if you wanna get a no interest loan under that amount of 15K, and you really wanna also introduce this to your community. So Kiva is debt-based crowdfunding, but what I wanna segue into next is a whole new form of crowdfunding. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrite today. Link in the description. The next one on the list is WeFunder.com. WeFunder.com falls into the scope of platforms, which I call more so equity crowdfunding or investment crowdfunding. So this is very different than the other platforms that we mentioned. This is really great for startups or entrepreneurs who want to raise money for their project, their idea, their business plan, or their existing company that they want to scale, and they're willing to give away equity in the company in order to do so. So again, this is equity crowdfunding. When you're doing a crowdfunding campaign on a website like wefunder.com, you also have a funding goal and a funding duration. But the biggest difference is that the people that are supporting the campaign are actually investors. They're gaining an actual percentage interest in your company, depending on the investment contract which you choose to go with. And you have then a bunch of different investors who are then supporting the expansion of your company. It's almost like doing a mini IPO, if you wanna think of it that way. And you're using what's called regulation crowdfunding 
of the JOBS Act, so or Reg CF, if you want to use that terminology. At the time I'm recording this video, WeFunder is the largest Reg CF or equity crowdfunding portal that's out there. It's also been growing a lot in the last couple of years. The next on my list is Start Engine. Start Engine is kind of like similar to Kickstarter Indiegogo. Start Engine is the competitor to WeFunder. It is another Reg CF crowdfunding portal, which you can use actually to raise money in form of equity crowdfunding. Similar to WeFunder, you gotta have a campaign video, a campaign description, right? And you also have, might have some perks and rewards, but the people that are actually taking action and are supporting your campaign are again, actually investors in your company. So you're giving away a small percentage of equity. And from that, those people are then deciding to invest either in the vision, the purpose, or they connect with you as a startup founder, and they're willing to get in on the ground floor of your new business. WeFunder and Start Engine fall into the realm of what I call alternative finance. And this is really, again, cutting out the middleman and bridging the gap between seed funding rounds and doing more of like a larger VC round, right? So maybe in the past you would do like some seed funding or use Reg D. Now people are using regulation crowdfunding in order to raise money from the crowd. They get tons of evangelists that are talking about their brand who are then also investors. And typically people are investing between 800 and 1,200 when it comes to these campaigns. The next on the list is CrowdStreet. I'm include a link as well to CrowdStreet down below. CrowdStreet is an incredible platform and team, and I'll include a link to all the other platforms as well when it comes to this. CrowdStreet falls into the camp of what's called real estate crowdfunding. So it's very specific in category when it comes to real estate crowdfunding. So this is for people that want to raise money for a real estate opportunity, or they want to invest in real estate opportunities under the traditional model of what is known as crowdfunding. Now, there are other real estate crowdfunding platforms that are out there. I've covered many of them. An example would be Fundrise, right? That kind of pioneered more of like a REIT style funding when it comes to this. I would say CrowdStreet is the one that stands out in my mind when it comes to traditional real estate crowdfunding where a bunch of people can participate in a real estate offering of some kind, right? And actually be able to participate as a member of the crowd. The biggest downside to CrowdStreet is that it is only open to uh, accredited investors or basically high net worth individuals when it comes to investing. However, there are a lot of really high quality deals on that website and I've produced a bunch of video around their site as well. All right, let's keep it going. We are getting down this list. The next one is Cosvox. And I do believe I have a great tutorial out there on Cosvox, which I filmed. Depending on when you watch this, it may be out there live or not. But Cosvox is what's called a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising website and also a traditional nonprofit crowdfunding website. So we talked about number one, GoFundMe, right? Which is more of like a charity-based uh, crowdfunding website for personal causes. Cosvox is more for specifically nonprofit organizations. So if you are a nonprofit organization and you want to do peer-to-peer -peer fundraising or you want to do something like traditional crowdfunding, you can use Causevox's uh, fundraising platform and software to actually run one of these campaigns. I talk about them in my free course for nonprofits that are out there on nonprofit crowdfunding, which I'll link up down below. I've also mentioned them a bit in my book as well on nonprofit fundraising. So Causevox is a great platform in that it gives you the tools that you need to actually execute a crowdfunding campaign and Nonprofit crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer fundraising are two different things, but they're both accomplishing the same, which is going online to actually attract a crowd and to be able to raise funds. The last one I want to mention on this list is another nonprofit crowdfunding website, and this is Mighty Cause. So Mighty Cause, I'd say, is a little bit more of a full suite, all-in-one nonprofit fundraising tool. So this goes beyond just the scope of crowdfunding. We're also talking about like donor management, CRM, relationship building, all of that. But if you're kind of a larger established nonprofit organization, or you really want to get extremely you know, cutting edge when it comes to your technology as a nonprofit organization, I would look into Mighty Cause. They have been growing a lot as an organization also been making some headlines. So they have some really cool fundraising software when it comes to that and being sort of this all-in-one tool when it comes to nonprofits. At this point, your head might be swimming. It's like, oh my gosh, Sal, there's so many platforms in this list. There's so many resources, there's so many tools. Which one should I use? Which one's best for me based on my unique case and my resources and things I have access to? If you want just a clear answer. I do have a great option that's available out there, which is my individual one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, which I do with my subscribers, with my audience, and also with my students, right? People that are really a student of the craft of crowdfunding. So whether you're just kind of a beginner, you've only been following me for like a couple of weeks, and you're like, Sal, I don't even know if I should do this crowdfunding thing, or I don't know what platform I should use. If you're a beginner in that way, you can go down below and you can book an individual one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. I also have students and subscribers that call in that are sometimes following me for years 
years at a time or months and months, and they're finally getting around to actually launching a campaign. If that sounds like you and you wanna talk more about the tactics, the strategy, the marketing, how to hit a home run with this sucker, how to make sure we hit all of your objectives and really the purpose behind the campaign, which is to get funding, but also to get attention with your project. We can talk about that all in one streamlined, intensive one-on-one -on -one coaching call that will take you from point A to point B much, much faster. It's almost like light speed when it comes to that, as well as get access to all the tools that I know about in order to supercharge this process. Also introduce you to other people in the industry and some other resources as well that I think will be beneficial when it comes to your campaign. All you gotta do, go to the link down below and book an individual coaching call with me. Fill out the form, tell me more about you, tell me what you're passionate about, man. Let's use this as an experience where we can get to know each other and that way I can help you reach your full potential, hit all of your goals this year and sp smash through any kind of milestones or obstacles that you need to in order to get there to impact the world. Thank you so much, man. If you like my style, if you like my content, if you enjoyed this video at all, got you a little bit fired up, give me a thumbs up on this video. Come subscribe to this content so that way you can get more notifications and you can get more great content delivered straight to your inbox, get access to the right information. And finally, all the links down below in the description. Again, my name is Sal and I will see you next time.